big, fluffy, soft and absolutely delicious cinnamon rolls packed with a cinnamon brown sugar filling topped with sugar glaze that soaks every bite. Hi everyone, this is Darshi and welcome to my Sugar Rush Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make very nice, beautiful, soft, fluffy, moist, eggless cinnamon rolls. So let's get started. For that, I have three quarter cups of warm milk. I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar and two teaspoons of yeast and one teaspoon of lemon juice. Just quickly whisk it. I'm going to cover this and set it aside for about five minutes. Now I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter cup of oil, and one tablespoon of melted butter. I'll just mix all the ingredients. Now I'm going to add the milk and yeast mixture. The dough is very loose and sticky, so I'm now going to remove it on a flat surface. I'm going to knead this for about 8 to 10 minutes now. The dough is now ready. I'm going to add some oil to the bowl. the dough in and cover it with a tea towel. I'm now going to allow this to rest for about two hours or until it doubles in size. It's now two hours and my dough has risen and doubled up. I'm going to now bring it on a flat surface. I'm going to make a bowl. Dust some flour on the worktop and on top. And now roll it. Roll it long. The dough is now rolled. It's not very thin. Now I'm going to add three tablespoons of softened butter. Spread it evenly. Now add one teaspoon of cinnamon powder to half a cup of brown sugar. Now add the cinnamon and sugar mix on the butter. Spread it evenly. Don't spread it too much at the edges because um, when I'm going to roll it, I want the dough to stick very well. Now I'm going to roll. It has to roll extremely tight so that it doesn't open up when we're cutting. Now with the help of a thread, I'm going to make the slices.
Now place the rolls on a greased baking tray. So I've spaced them out nicely because they're going to be resting again for another half an hour and they're going to rise again before I bake them. The cinnamon rolls have rested for about 30 minutes now and they've doubled in size. I'm now going to bake this at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes or until the buns are nice golden brown. My cinnamon rolls are out of the oven, beautifully baked with a golden brown. I'm now going to top it with a sugar glaze and for that I have half a cup of icing sugar, one tablespoon of milk and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Stir it up together. I'm now going to top it. The cinnamon rolls are still hot, so I'm going to serve them when they're slightly cooled. The cinnamon rolls have cooled down slightly. cinnamon roll is now ready to be served. Enjoy it with your choice of ice creams or fruits or enjoy it on its own. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your experience on this recipe in the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more.